Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to share this really quick and easy breakfast recipe with you and it is for this very coconutty chia seed pudding topped with pomegranate and it's very healthy. It's quick and easy to make. You just make it the night before. I make it with coconut milk so it's also vegan and it's absolutely delicious and I'm sure that you guys are going to love it. What I love about this recipe mostly is that it's not even really a recipe. You don't have to follow like specific quantities and there's a lot of room for variation. So I'm just going to quickly tell you how I make it and then you can try it exactly like me or you can just change the fruit or you can change the milk or you can change just about anything in it. The only thing you need is some kind of milk and the chia seeds. So we're going to start with the chia seeds. These are very similar to sabja or basil seeds but they're not the same thing. So just check that you're getting proper chia seeds. They are a superfood so they can be kind of expensive but they have a lot of different health benefits. Seriously, look it up. For the milk, I'm using coconut cream. You can also use almond milk or just regular cow's milk. Coconut cream will add a lot of extra calories though. It makes it nice and tasty and indulgent. But if you want to keep it lighter, you can use skimmed coconut milk. The next thing you're going to need is some kind of sweetener. I really like using raw honey and Honey and Spice is my favorite new Indian brand. I did a blog post on them too, so you can check that out. I sometimes add ground cinnamon to this recipe, but this honey already has cinnamon added into it. And so that just makes my life easier. I'm going to top my pudding with pomegranate. Not only will this make it look really pretty and Instagrammable, but pomegranate is a very healthy fruit. It has so many antioxidants and it's really quite amazing plus it's very sweet so it's going to add a nice flavor and texture to your pudding i'm also adding some coconut flakes that i picked up on my last visit to chennai just to maximize the coconutty flavor and i'm going to be using a mason jar to make the pudding not only because it looks really pretty but since you're going to be refrigerating the pudding for quite a while you want something with a lid so that your pudding doesn't absorb the flavors of your fridge so the basic proportion that you have to follow for the pudding is 1 fourth cup of chia seeds and 1 cup of coconut milk or whatever liquid you're using. Later on you can just adjust this based on your preference. Just add the seeds and add the milk. It's better if you use a measuring cup but I didn't have a measuring cup at hand so I just used a regular cup. Now you have to add the honey and stir really nicely because honey can clump in some places. So after you mix together the milk, chia seeds and honey just shut your jar tight and give it a nice shake. This is a really fun step. And then all you have to do is place it in the fridge and keep it overnight. It'll be ready to consume in a few hours if you are really excited or hungry. But if you want that good pudding texture, you really do need to keep it overnight. So the next morning I take out the jar from the fridge and this is what the chia seeds look like. They absorb a lot of the liquid and they become something like a gel. So now I just top it with the pomegranate and the coconut flakes. And here it is, it's completely ready. And look at it, doesn't it look pretty? Don't forget to Instagram it before you eat it. I'm just going to mix this up a little first. Make sure the pomegranate and the pudding is nice and incorporated. Now get a taste. Mm. Mm, this is really crunchy and delicious. You have got to try this. And if you do, don't forget to share a picture on Instagram and tag me so I can see. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more food, beauty, fashion and travel videos. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.